Now to today's special assignment. Thousands of signs on local roads have to be replaced, and you are paying for them. But is it a waste of your money? George Rickard has this morning's special assignment. The Federal Highway Administration is requiring that all stop signs and other warning signs have a certain degree of visibility at night. Some already have the retro reflectivity, but the ones that don't will have to be replaced within five years. Street signs that aren't reflective enough will have to be swapped out within eight years. And any new signs that do go up should not be all capitalized letters, but a mix of upper and lower case. That's stupid. To me, I think it's a waste of money. The Federal Highway Administration says studies have shown that older drivers in particular can read the contrast of upper and lower case letters better than all capital letters. Do you see any difference? I don't see any difference. I'm 78 years old and I can read these signs right now. Drivers aren't the only ones questioning the new mandate. We should be investing in infrastructure, not signage. Congressman Brian Higgins fired off a letter to the Highway Administration this week asking for clarification of why the new rules are in place. It's a diversion of funds uh, that should be used for other good purposes like uh, highway, uh, road, and, and, and bridge construction. Uh, that's what the Federal Highway Administration ought to be doing. We have a government that thinks they know best in Washington and they will tell those of us around the country how to live our lives. I fundamentally disagree with that. Chris Collins admits many of the county's road signs would be replaced in the next eight years anyway. But to me, this is a case of Washington uh, gone crazy. Even though these city street signs are capitalized, they can stay because they have a retro-reflective surface. In fact, more than half of the city street signs already meet the new standards. Buffalo also makes its own street signs. But in New York City, where thousands of street signs may be older and non-reflective, replacement could cost over $20 million. Is it really for safety or is it going in someone's pocket? I don't know. George Rickard, News 4.